She met the prince and married him, lived happily ever after. Her sisters too, they lost the plot, and the heads are all in plaster. They are nasty, yes, smooth, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The theatre said, oh, you know, we're going to close the doors on it, and Aladdin was our last final show. Uh, there was a moment of, if this could be our last show, but I've always been extremely hopeful, and out of anybody, I've probably been the one person that's kind of said, no, we'll do another show, it will happen, we'll, the, do the doors will open, it's just got to be a, a, you know, a matter of time. So out of everybody, I was probably the most positive. Um, but I'm so glad that it has. <laughs> In terms of like the production side of things, um, I can't, I couldn't ask for a better team of people in regards to the cast um, and what what they bring to the table. Uh, you know, I only have to ask them once, and they always make the experience fun and easy. There's never, you know, telling them twice. It's always a really fun, um, happy place to be. So I never find the rehearsal time. I never find it a chore. I never find it hard work. Um, it's always, you know, you know, lovely to be. They're always lovely to work with and be around. Um, so as far as the rehearsal say, the pr rehearsal process is concerned, it's an easy job. That's the easy part. Um, it's when we get into the theatre and we start with all the technical stuff, with the stage crew and the putting up the set and sorting out the lighting and the projection and the animation and making it look pretty, making the audience not see all the technical things that are going on behind to make it look like this magical story. That's when it gets a little bit stressful, making sure that it's perfect for the audience members to come in and see. Whoever wants to do that, just try it, okay? Cheers. Um, so, from the princess giving a ball order or love. Okay, here we go. One. Two, one, two. The prince is giving a to be the most popular pantomime um, in all theatres all across the country Cinderella is always the one that seems to I mean all pantos put bombs on seats but Cinderella seems to be the one I don't know it has that little edge I don't know whether it's about the princess or the little girls wants to be Cinderella um, you know closely followed by Aladdin actually that's also a popular one but Cinderella is the top of the top of the list um, and I'll be really honest with you I couldn't tell you why me drive me throughout the rehearsal process to make the show as good as it can be um, I have a bit of a creative and overactive imagination anyway which I think completely helps when you're putting on a production like this um, you have to be a little bit nuts um, and a little bit mental <laughs> to take on such a big task especially on my own I mean I do have an amazing team of people around me but it all comes from you know this little brain in here so um, 
but what I don't know what drives me my first influence will be my dad 100% you know who put the company together um, and then that and just all of these great people that kind of come into rehearsals they'll do something and they might do something in rehearsal and then I and then I think do you know what we can expand on what you've just did I didn't ask them to do that but we can just go with it it's great Actually, probably too many to choose. Um, there's been some. There was again. It comes back to my dad. There's been some great moments when I was younger, as far back as I can remember. You know, dancing with him and singing with him on the stage. Um, and you know, I was dancing and singing with him on stage from the age of four. Um, <clears throat> so that would be my late, like, longest memory. I'll be really honest with you. There's too many to choose. I couldn't tell you a specific moment. And every, every show and everything you do here has its special something, whether it be a pantomime, a summer show, a kids' show. Um, you know, they all have their special moments. This building, to me, is like a second home. So, you know, just being in the building in itself is special.
the show, the cast always go out into the audience and say, they say goodbye to the crowd. The children love seeing all the principals and, you know, seeing the characters and getting to shake their hands and saying goodbye. Um, so usually then that's a, good, that, that's a good time where we find out what the audience reaction is, um, you know, and find out from them what's going on. Oh.